Hey guys, Chad here with the Reptile Rangers. Now we're at the Kernersville Reptile Zoo and Medical Center again today, and we're going to talk a little bit more serious in depth uh, than we have in a, in a couple of uh, uh, last videos. Uh, we're going to get back onto the medical side of things. <clears throat> Of course, with us being a full, very, very large medical facility, dealing with reptiles as we have for years and years and years, we're always dealing with medical cases. And there's always medical information uh, or information that's helpful for uh, reptiles that uh, we are trying to get out there to help not only the zoos, but uh, other veterinary practices, uh, pet keepers, breeders, and all kinds of people that's inside of the reptilian hobby. This one right here is no different. We've been teaching about it for about the last four or five years. Um, it just started coming about real heavy about four years ago. For about the last four to five years we've been teaching about it. Uh, and it deals with a major issue inside of the bearded dragons. Okay. Now, these guys right here, incredibly popular pets, uh, kept by many, 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 many people. These are uh, awesome, awesome animals. They, they really are. Um, make a great companion pet for, uh, for any reptile lover. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> there is things that uh, have to be dealt with when it comes to these little guys. <laughs> and uh, so, okay, but before we get into that, see right here in this corner right here, that's the subscriber button. Now make sure you hit that subscribe button. And for those of you that have hit the subscribe button, we appreciate you following along week after week. And for those that just did, thank you for your subscription. Now, let's get right into this. This topic that we're going to be talking about with uh, bearded dragons is called adenovirus. Okay, the adenovirus is known as the wasting disease when it comes to bearded dragons. Now, it's something similar uh, to cryptosporidiosis or crypto for short when it comes to leopard geckos. Uh, it affects the bearded dragons about the same way that it does the leopard geckos, but there is some differences, okay? We'll kind of talk about those differences here in a little bit. <clears throat> I'm not going to go fully, fully in-depth on everything about adeno, including um, uh, treatments, causes, uh, uh, symptoms, signs, and everything. I'm going to go over some of that stuff, but uh, uh, this video would be three hours long if I went over everything about, uh, about adeno, uh, the way in which I cover it inside of our training course. Um, that uh, that we have. Um, thank you, Pop. But <clears throat> the biggest portion of adenovirus infected animals that we see come from the major pet stores, okay? Uh, Petco, PetSmart, Pets Plus Plus, uh, a lot of your big chains that go to these wholesale distributors, uh, basically your puppy mill, uh, reptile puppy mill producers uh, that are producing bearded dragons on a mass scale and uh, massive amounts of inbreeding that's done uh, just to uh, keep up with supply and demand for the pet stores. Now, first and foremost, let me say this, adenovirus is 100% fatal. It's not curable. Uh, it's not treatable. Um, you can keep um, some of the uh, intestinal load at, at somewhat of a manageable uh, area for a little while, but uh, ultimately they're going to succumb and it is contagious, very much contagious. Uh, one of the things I want you to understand about this, crypto, like in leopard geckos, cryptosporidiosis or crypto for short, <clears throat> is contagious. Uh, it is transferable uh, from one animal to another animal, but parents cannot, uh, or moms, I guess I should say, moms cannot transmit it to the babies and the eggs. However, with adenovirus, it is transmittable. Uh, <clears throat> moms can pass it down to the babies in, uh, in the eggs, all right? Now, a lot of the times when people start buying the bearded dragons from like Petco, PetSmart, Pets Plus Plus, uh, some of your big chains, or even from your big suppliers uh, your, uh, that even these chains go to, within about, <laughs> Four weeks uh, to upwards of eight to ten months is when we usually start seeing these animals having the most severe amount of problems and ultimately succumb to death. Um, again, it's known as the wasting disease. Uh, essentially, it's kind of think of the concept of intestinal parasites on steroids, a not, a not treatable, uh, not curable uh, type of intestinal parasite. Um, it affects their body, it affects their uh, their digestive tract, it affects their appetite, it affects it affects their whole thing, uh, their whole body. And uh, uh, over time, uh, whether a short period of time or whether a long period of time, over time, uh, 
these guys will start losing weight. Um, they may get symptoms such as toe twitching or tail twitching, like, like tremors. They're just twitching. Uh, stargazing is another one. I mean, you'll see these little guys. Let me see. Uh, just a general concept. You can see them uh, sitting not just in an upright position, but they'll be sitting way back. For example, take his tail. If his tail was sitting up like this, okay, cool. But stargazing, their, their heads are almost bent backwards, kind of like this right here. The heads, not the tails. Um, there would be uh, undigested food, regurgitation, uh, again, excessive amounts of very rapid weight loss uh, are all signs of it. Now, I want you to understand something, too. Uh, these, these are all the same signs, could be the same signs of just a treatable, very easy to deal with uh, intestinal parasites. The only way to really know about adeno is under laboratory testing, okay? So it has to be done through microscope and through, uh, through actual uh, laboratory tests uh, to confirm whether these things have adeno or not. However, the, the few parts um, that does not uh, do like intestinal parasites is the toe and tail twitching, tremors, uh, body tremors, and the stargazing. If you see that heavy amount of stargazing, almost guaranteed. Uh, almost guaranteed that it's uh, that it's got the uh, adenovirus. Um, tremors and the tail twitching could come from things like MBD. Uh, understand that as well. Metabolic bone disease can cause rapid weight loss. Uh, it can cause uh, tremors. It can cause um, uh, almost like seizures, uh, a partial paralysis. You'll get kind of the uh, lethargic look where they're just kind of laying. Let's see if I can get them to do this. Yeah, where they're just laying like this all the time with just their heads, you know, heads between their hands, maintaining kind of basic color but not really doing a whole lot but also that could be a state of brumation okay so understand there's <clears throat> A lot of the signs and symptoms to adeno can be something similar to it, like intestinal parasites, brumation, MBD, the start of MBD, whatever, uh, even respiratory infection, things like that. Uh, okay, but I want you to understand that this is something that is prevalent, um, and we have been seeing, and I know a lot of other folks have been seeing this as well, um, especially when with the dragons and things that's bought from some of your major pet stores. And the unfortunate thing is, is that nine times out of ten, <clears throat> when the pet stores buy these guys. Uh, and have them shipped in, they're shipped in together. If one dragon doesn't have it at the time, or one dragon does have it, but it's mass shipped in a, in a box or a container with several other ones, then almost guaranteed they're going to get it. And then it goes inside of the store. Think about the same concept as yellow fungus fever. Yellow fungus fever is the same, same general concept. One could be clear from it, or 10 could be clear from it, but if they're in with one, and then all of a sudden they're shipped with it, then almost guaranteed you're gonna end, it's going to end up infecting the other ones. Um, and then, of course, you have it inside the store. If the stores don't realize what they have, or they brought it in, and they don't know that they have the adeno, uh, they sell all those dragons. Well, let's say the next grouping of dragons comes in, and they're actually healthy. Well, if that... Uh, uh, if, they did, if the store didn't know that they had adeno and they did not fastidiously clean um, that environment that had the infected adeno dragon in it, then guess what? Now when they put the new dragons in there, those guys are going to get infected with it. Uh, so, like I said, this is kind of that vicious cycle uh, that goes back to not only screening your animals, quarantining your animals, keeping uh, uh, clean habitats, and also knowing exactly where you're buying your animals from. That's, that's kind of the first and foremost case. Uh, but like I said, adeno virus is a very, very real, very, uh, very uh, profound thing that, that we are dealing with in the reptile world, and especially when it comes to bearded dragons. Um, and that's the whole purpose for this video, uh, is to bring awareness to what is out there, okay? But like I said, not every dragon that gets sick or starts losing weight has out of dinner could just have a little load of intestinal parasites. If you're feeding crickets, almost guaranteed it's gonna have intestinal parasites because crickets are a big cause of intestinal parasites. Um, with metabolic bone disease, if you see it laying around listless or it can't move its feet all that well, can't move its legs all that well, or it's kind of crawling around, good chance it's got the start of MBD. It's just not getting enough calcium or UV exposure. Um, and again, if it's laying around listless, not doing nothing, it's not doesn't really have an appetite, not really showing interest in food, it could actually be brumation. So there's a lot of things that can happen with inside of these animals, uh, but again, we want to bring a little bit of attention, a little bit of awareness uh, to something that's been around for several years now. Uh, not many people know about it. Uh, they think it's just something that was uh, that simple to deal with, and uh, unfortunately, it's not. Um, and unfortunately, all these animals succumb uh, eventually at some point in time, whether quickly or whether slowly, uh, to the adenovirus. Okay. Now, hopefully, this has been helpful. Gives you kind of an insight on something that is pretty serious. Um, doesn't happen 
to every single uh, dragon owner um, and something not to really uh, totally get so scared about but just being aware where you're getting your animal from uh, and be aware of what's out there um, and, and understand what uh, what you may have to deal with okay now again this is Chad we are the reptile rangers here at the Kernersville Reptile Zoo and Medical Center make sure to write us in make sure to hit that like button subscribe button hit the bell for notifications uh, write us in let us know what you'd like for us to film about uh, any kind of topic medical housing food the zoo here uh, things that we breed whatever uh, and we uh, look forward to seeing you soon so we'll either see you on the next episode or we'll see you here at the zoo later